what's up you guys? This is just gonna be a short update. We are driving in between Stanfield and Division. Stanfield Cutoff and Division. For those of you, Stanfield Cutoff, if you go the other way, it's Starvation Flats. But yeah, it's January 23rd, 2021. This is just an update. The other video should be uploaded now. We're starting to get a little more snow now from this second storm. It's the third storm that's gonna be the beginning of the big ones. These are two little, uh, you know, um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, premature, <laughs> it's snow -ulation. So yeah, it's, uh, this isn't, this isn't the, the, the big storms, but we could get a few inches out of this one though. So for us, it's, it's typically good average is what this, this little storm is, but it's the next one's for, ah, oh, no, no. Guys, we were just in so much traffic before I turned on this camera. It was ridiculous. Just from my house to the grocery stores, it took me 20 minutes. Because there were a few cars stopped putting on the chains, yo. Putting on the chains right in the middle of the road. Right in the middle of the road. It's very really good, my friend. I am so excited about this. I am so excited about this, you guys. Because this is... Once again, this is like the calm before the storm type videos because these next storms are going to be so massive and just so exciting that these little ones are literally like nothing. <laughs> when we would usually be excited about just this. So yeah, super stoked, super stoked. We're on Big Bear Boulevard. Beautiful, beautiful Husky. Look at the, look at the Huskies. Look at the Huskies. <laughs> But we are getting some snow, yo. We're getting some snow, yo. Snowing in the Big Bear Lake. Nah, we're in the Big Bear City now. We're in the city now. We don't want to go down that route. Hang on, guys. Hang on real quick. Okay. So we're coming up to Dead Man's Curve. And this is in Big Bear City. This is right before you get to Circle K and stuff like that. And these people are just not the brightest people right there. Uh, because they're walking with their backs against this traffic coming around, this, this crazy driving conditions. I just don't get some people, but I, just, I, I, I hope they're okay. I mean, seriously, like sometimes the con I don't know if it's the altitude or the cold weather, but like common sense is just out the window sometimes. I'm surprised I don't see some of these, some of these, uh, some of these locals cruising around, just walking around with bare feet in like 10 degree weather <laughs> it's just mind-boggling dude like you guys saw that they were walking this way on that side of the road like with their backs like like their backs or they couldn't see traffic coming and with conditions like this my goodness like oh man you would think you would just need an iq just north of your shoe size to be able to like to figure that one out i'm not trying to be a, a dick i just feel really just frustrated with that because I don't want to see them get hurt. It's really weird. It's like I get mad at my mom when like she likes like falls or like does something because I think that she isn't really taking care of herself and she's wobbly and falling because of that and stuff. And then I, I like my first reaction is anger, which is sad because like like she's my she's the most important person in my life and it's it's just like when I feel like she isn't doing everything she can to better herself it just crushes me but it comes out as anger as for at first so um but yeah i like so i had to explain that to you guys because my mom is the most important person in my life she's such a such an amazing human being like i i i mean yeah she's just incredible you guys but anyway, coming up here to the right, this is Lakeview Market, or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys, my bad, this is Community Market. This is a staple in town. This has been here, I think, since like the 1920s, 30s, or 40s or something, but it's one of the original, if not the original market in Big Bear. How cool is that, guys? And then, yeah, we've got a, uh, yeah. We've got a, yeah. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. Look at this traffic. So we're gonna take the back streets home and we're gonna record so you guys can see. But yeah, this is what traffic's looking like. 
through town so you can see with your own eyes. So you can see with your own eyes, huh? Come on, mate. Ah, uh, give it a little tug. Give it a, a give, give it the tug and rug, huh? Give it the tug under the rug, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. You know what? We're gonna go up to the sugar loaf real quick. I think we'll do that. So this is what traffic's gonna be like just up here to Maple, which is just a half a mile. So I'm gonna turn it off just to save us a little time. Hang on. All right, guys. So we're turning on Maple. For those of you who are coming up and staying in Sugarloaf, guys, do not take this road up. It's super dangerous. Super dangerous. You don't want to take this road. Because, uh, I, I mean, right now, it's not too bad, but it's still freezing temperatures right now, so you might want to, like, go around. Keep on going straight on Big Bear Boulevard and then hang a right on Highway 38, and then you'll get to a road called, called Baldwin. And you want to take Baldwin up into Sugarloaf, Baldwin Road. It's still steep, but not, it's about half the, half as steep as this one. So it's not too shabby. It's not too difficult, um, but you still want to be extra careful. But when it starts snowing good, guys, do not come up and down this road. I don't care how confident you are. Like even I take Baldwin lots of times, but sometimes I'll take uh, Maple just to show you guys. Now we're getting a little bit of snow up here. It's 32 degrees. We are in Sugarloaf now. Yeah, cool. It's very cool, man. It's very cool. I like it. Yeah, that's cool, man. There's a skate park, you guys. Right now it's a snow park, or it's gonna be a snow park. Freaking snow park, bro. Okay, Mr. This guy's got a Colorado license plate. They're probably like, geez, this isn't snow. This isn't snow. These guys don't know what snow is. Well, I used to live in Colorado for two years. My parents sent me to boarding school there when I was uh, 13, and, no, 14 through 15. So right before 16, I got my driver's permit out there and everything. But anyway, look at these big snowflakes. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna shut it off right now because we're gonna turn around and head back, and then I'll, I'll turn it back on for the back streets. But we are gonna go down Maple. I know I said we shouldn't, but it's not too bad right now. Love you guys, January 23rd, 2021. All right, you guys, we're uh, January 23rd, still 2021. Uh, we're not gonna go down Maple. This is that Baldwin Road. I, I just wanna show you guys what Baldwin looks like, even though it takes me a little bit, not, it's not, not out of my way. You know, to keep you guys safe, it's never out of my way, so. I forget I even, I even said that. So let's just take this. I know it doesn't look steep at all right now. We're on a tiny, tiny downgrade, but then it, it gets it, it gets a little steep bro, down here, but it's just, overall, it's just not as scary as Maple. It's not as scary as Maple. It's not, it's really not. I'm not joking, it's really not. I think you guys will like it a lot. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so excited about the fights tonight! <laughs> Gonna get some, see some people get knocked out! I love it, I love it, I like it a lot. But just for the sport, you know? Just for the competition. I'm a competitive person and like sports was my life. My whole life, like that's, that's what was gonna make me money. Was was sports because I was I was I excelled so much at, at everything I did, even being such a little guy, you know. I was always picked first, um, always made all star teams, this and that. Uh, so that was Baldwin. If if you guys saw it, it really wasn't that tough. Now we're on Highway 38. So obviously to go up, you would obviously come from that direction, come back this way, and then turn right on Baldwin Road and go up Baldwin. So yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Ah, oh, the snow is so beautiful. Oh, I can't get enough of it. I just can't get enough of it. But unfortunately, these videos are taking so long to upload, so I, I, I need to kind of slow down. 
So I'm gonna stop this for like five minutes and then turn it back on. I'm sorry guys, I just want you guys to get this stuff so quickly. All right guys, so we're on Big Bear Boulevard, we're turning left on Paradise. Take me down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, would you please take me home? Yeah. I wish Big Bear was the Paradise City when it came to women. But you know what? It's uh, <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Oh, it's Yeti Central. <laughs> I'm no, I'm nothing special to look at myself, but I'm just saying, man. It's like, it's like, like, I think this is where the abominable snowman came from, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I remember when I first started this channel, I was talking about like trying to meet some girls up here and, and that just all the chicks were just hurting, just, you know, either toothless or just like, I, I was not the kind, I was like kind of a bit shallow. Uh, I still am shallow. That's why I'm single because I'm very shallow. Um, I want women that are, don't want me and the women that want me, I don't want them. Like, it's just really, really sad. And look at how much fun these guys are having. But yeah, so that's just the story of my life, yo. Yeah, but, yep, street. There's a street here, guys. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah, see, that's what you don't want to do, guys, is, like, uh, sled in the middle of the street like that. Like, I don't care if you do, but I just don't want you to get hurt. Um, cars, as I say, come flying through here and they don't know how to drive too well in this weather. Sometimes when you're new in this weather, you forget for a brief moment while you're driving what the weather, what the roads are like. And so just guys, just be very, very careful. I mean, uh, just, it, I just don't want to see anything happen to you guys. But yeah, look at all, look at all these people out here just having a good time, man. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I, I wonder if like anyone will ever recognize me. They do at, at the grocery stores and stuff all the time. I, yeah, I waved at her first, she didn't wave back, so I waved like really hardcore, and then she waved back. <laughs> I waved like a total dummy. Oh, we're here on Rose Hill. We're passing Rose Hill, my friend. I just can't, dude, I get so, so irritated when you wave to someone and they don't wave back, or like you open a door for them and they don't say thank you. Like, I just wanna slam the door right in their face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seriously, man, like, I'm such a polite, kind, generous person. And when people don't act like that around me, man, I, like, uh, as I said, two wrongs don't make a right, but I'm the type who likes to, to, to not get mad, just get even. But anyway, we're on Sawmill now. I just turned left on Sawmill. Sawmill is the one that turns into to Sugarloaf Boulevard and takes you all the way. Yeah, you, like, yeah, Sugarloaf is the one that gets you through from Big Bear Lake to Big Bear City all the way through. Um, it's the only one that goes all the way through Sugarloaf Boulevard. So just so you guys know that. And these are the back roads we're taking right now. So you guys be safe, have fun. Look at that little baby. It's a huge baby, but it was a cute little baby. That was a cute little baby. Yeah, buddy. How'd you guys doing? Up, oh, up. Oh. This is a little scary part right here because you come up that steep little slope and then cars are coming up this side and you meet in the middle at the top. You can't see see each other because it's so steep and when you come over the top, that's when you can see each other. Almost been in a few accidents like that, but it's all good. It's all hood in the good. All right. So yeah, we are on, uh, I wanna say this is Sugarloaf Boulevard, right guys? This is Sugarloaf Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. As I said, I think Sawmill turns into Sugarloaf, but you guys, this is gonna save you so much time. I'm telling you, man. If you guys want to, if you're not coming up here for a long time and you have to, and you're in where you're staying, it isn't like within like a block of the ski resort. I'm telling you, you're going to want to know these streets, but please, please. Like I'm going under 20. I probably should be going slower than under 20. Like I should be going probably like under 15, but please, you guys do not speed. Speed limit says 25 in these conditions. A lot of people um, should probably be driving a lot slower. Um, you know, it's okay, you guys. Don't worry if there's some jerk behind you like myself who gets frustrated if you're going super slow. Like, still maintain. But the thing is, is 
there are signs all over the mountain, not as many in town, but all over the mountain that say slower traffic, keep right, or pull off. So just because you're going the speed limit doesn't make it okay for you to, uh, to hold everyone up behind you. Like one of my people left me a, a comment because I guess I like, I used my train horn because they were just being so inconsiderate. Um, like it doesn't matter if you're going the speed limit. If you have a whole bunch of people behind you and you're holding them up, believe it or not, you can get the ticket for obstructing traffic. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. It's absolutely true. Like, uh, like, and when I've driven on the Autobahn in Germany and the Autostrasse in Italy, it's basically the same type of laws too. Like, if you are in the fast lane going 120 miles an hour and there's a Porsche coming up on you at 160 and you don't get over because you feel like you're going fast enough already and that person can wait because you're entitled and you're better than them, you'll get a ticket. You will. You will get a massive fine for that. So just please understand, you guys. I'm sounding frustrated because this person was a total tool bag when they, how they left their like comment and like, uh, like, oh, we were going the speed limit, so you didn't have to like do that. And it's like, dude, are you that freaking? Are you that ignorant of people? Like, are you that just, just oblivious to like anything for real? Like, oh my gosh, I just could. Could not so so my response was so because you're going the speed limit you're holding up traffic like like because because it's your world and we're just passing through it it's come on man give me an effing break and i didn't cuss there i didn't i said effing like e-f-f-i-n um for all you ladies and children watching but uh yeah it's just like guys look i'm a human being too i get angry and I don't like getting angry, but I do. And it sucks. Like it's, it's like very sad. You know, but it's, you know, I catch myself though. I catch myself, but I'm just explaining to you guys like, and I hope that doesn't sound like a jerk the way that I'm explaining like how you're supposed to drive, like the law. As I said, believe it or not, like if you're going the speed limit, on a, on a one lane either side road type thing, but there's a ton of traffic behind you, you can be the one ticketed. I know that sounds ridiculous. You're like, oh, that's, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going the speed limit. Like, like that's like, I would totally fight that in court and you would probably win for sure. But the point is, is that they can ticket you for that because you're holding everyone up. And so just uh, please don't be that person because you know, a lot of the people who are honking and flashing brights, they don't want to be the, that that person either. And there's plenty of turnouts and pullouts and stuff, um, and w which is a big reason why I tell you guys to give yourself a lot of time, a lot of extra time to get up here so you can constantly pull out, let other people by. Don't stress yourselves out. If someone comes up on your butt, like right on your butt and stuff, don't like try to go faster. Please don't because that's how you're going to get killed. Just pull over and let them by. Pretty simple but like pull over at a pullout, not just like on the side of the road with these types of conditions, like pull over at, at a pullout. And as I said, there are a ton of them. And there's signs everywhere that say that, like uh, slower traffic, keep right, slower traffic, pull out. Um, so just, uh, as I said, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like being critical and just a douche, cause I'm not, like I love you guys. I'm just saying to keep you safe, like, like these are the things that need to be done up here instead of all of us always thinking about just ourselves, I'm included. Like when you're in these types of conditions, it's kind of good to be thinking of others also. And that's what gets us through everything up here is everyone being considerate and a little bit out of their comfort zone and being more loving towards others than they, than they typically would. That's all part of the experience up here. It really is because if we work together, we get through everything faster and it's just a beautiful thing. But anyway, we're on Fox Farm Road here. As I said, I wasn't giving you guys crap, man. This was one specific person who just uh, had the propensity to run their mouth without any self-awareness at all. Just mind blowing to me. Zero self-awareness. Yeah, maybe like I shouldn't have honked my train horn. I just, and I did apologize about that. But like, you know, don't act like you're the only one on this planet. There's other people that exist in this planet. And so try to be considerate of them, that's all.
and I know it sounds like I'm inconsiderate when I'm honking at them, but I give them plenty of opportunity, plenty of pullouts that they drive right by, plenty of this, plenty of that. Like there's only so much you can take, you guys. There's only so much you can take. And if people are just gonna be that selfish and just that in inconsiderate about other people, then you know what? Whatever's coming's coming. I don't care, you know? But I know that's not all of you guys, man. And look, I'm included in that whole thing. Like, like I do things that, that irritate other people out there. And when people give me constructive criticism about it and not just say, you, 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 you suck. You're, you're, you're angry. You, you get mad at all these, things. like when it's constructive, guys, I, I take it into consideration big time and I truly listen to it and I let it kind of, you know, just, just simmer for a while. And I just want to be the best me that I can be, not be impatient out there. Um, I don't want to scare you guys in any way. Like, like I don't want it to be one of you guys and then you guys get mad at me because I love you guys to death. Like, so I'm just explaining what it's like up here and how it is and how you need to be up here. You need to be a little more on the aggressive side, but very selfless as well, okay? Um, that's how you're gonna stay safe, believe it or not. Like, believe it or not. Um, and as I said, we all work together, so. Anyway, I love you guys, man. I love you guys a lot. And I just want nothing but the best for you. So you guys coming up, um, please understand, I really need you guys to bring like extra blankets in your car and warm clothing and food and water to last you about a week. And uh, let a couple people know where you're going, when they should expect to hear from you when you arrive very important all right now we're on Elm Street every town has an Elm Street <laughs> Big bear, it's full of big bears, big yetis. Yeti, it should be called Yeti Town. Yeti Town. But as I said, I'm no Brad Pitt myself though, you know? Hmm, Vogue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't funny, I'm not laughing. All right, I'm done, man. Look, look at these guys, man. Look at these guys are having some fun driving. Guys, Moon Ridge Road looks pretty awesome right now. There's really no one on it. And uh, we've got a, uh, yeah, this is awesome, guys. And there's a police officer right there. I think I just screwed the pooch. Big time. All right. So, oh, please don't pull me over. Please, please, please don't. Okay, so. We're almost to my house. This is the old, or this is one of the satellite parking lots for uh, the employees at Bear Mountain Snow Summit. That's where I would park on the weekends, and then they would you would take the tram to work. But anyway, you guys, it's one it's one p.m. twenty nine degrees in Big Bear Lake, California. Stay safe, stay awesome. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I want to help you guys as much as I can. And uh, yeah, man, for those of you who I do offend once in a while and stuff. That's the last thing that I want to do is offend anyone. So I apologize. Love you guys. Peace out.